So I'm interested in the agency's uh, approach to this mm -hmm. rather significant issue in our industry around convergence of, of TV. Um, I presume that this is a large part of your business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you say the word convergence, and that's really been sort of our guiding light for the last, I would say, three to four years. Um, and when we talk about convergence, we used to talk about that everything would converge on a single device. You've got one in your hand, and we'd all be managing our lives that way and interacting with brands. And the reality is people's behaviors have converged around different devices, and now people are walking around with multiple devices. And so, you know, thinking about how do we start to um, change the legacy way of doing business with mm -hmm. our clients to help them, we've talked about sales a lot on the panel, mm -hmm. to help them ultimately drive more sales by leveraging and harnessing the power of convergence. Mm -hmm. is, is this this kind of dynamic where we're moving from proxies to sort of real-time data mm -hmm. and deep analytics, is, is that a, how does the agency think about that? Is that, are you excited? Are you challenged by it? Is it worrying? Mm -hmm. um, how do you think about that evolution from, from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you could easily be overwhelmed by it. I think it's actually probably, I mean, I think it's incredibly exciting mm -hmm. because it provides opportunity where opportunity may not have existed before for brands. So when we think about that, actually there's, there's two ways to think about that data and those outcomes. One is we are moving from media outputs to business outcomes. Mm -hmm. And Yin talked about this a little bit, which is the importance of sales and actually making media much more accountable mm -hmm. for the sales that it's driving and understanding the return on that investment. Um, and also the attribution between channels as well and how they work together, mm -hmm. again, with convergence to drive those sales forward. Mm -hmm. And then the second is you know, how we understand people better right. so that we can create more opportunities to connect with the right people mm -hmm. at the right time with mm -hmm. the right message. Mm -hmm. That sounds though like a different skill set than tr what traditional agencies have brought to the fore. Are you hiring data scientists now mm -hmm. to help you parse this on behalf of brands? Yeah. I, it is. It is absolutely different mm -hmm. skill set, and I think you know, as an organization, as a as an agency network at mm -hmm. Dentsu Aegis, which mm -hmm. which Kara is a part of, mm -hmm. um, I could have started several years ago to build capabilities within Kara, and we do have an analytics practice, and we're we're building out our consumer insights practice to take mm -hmm. on some of those things. But in a world of convergence, there's more expertise and specialization that's mm -hmm. needed than ever before, mm -hmm. and clients expect that right. on their businesses. So what we've done is instead of trying to build that expertise in every single area within Kara and have a few people mm -hmm. that, that leverage that expertise, mm -hmm. we reach into our network of agencies and bring those people onto our client's business as we need to. And because we have a single P&L for Dentsu Aegis, it gives us the fluidity of that talent to be able to bring people in, whether that's an analytics expert, consumer insights expert, a media buying expert, or a holistic strategist. So, so to be clear, you're referring to agency networks cooperating? Um, I'm both within our network, our agencies cooperating, but yes, also, you know, we work with Proctor, and that's a great yep. example where we don't actually provide all the services um, that they need, and we actually do have to cooperate in a collaborative way who, to achieve who, that. Who's further ahead? Are the, are, the, are the brands leading the agencies? Are the agencies leading the brands? Are the technologists leading everybody? How do you... How, how is all the constituents of the ecosystem adapting? Yeah, I mean, Yin talked about a house of brands, mm -hmm. um, and I think you know we are a house of clients, mm -hmm. right? And so we work with clients on a continuum, and I think there are some clients that are very ahead and pushing the agency and bringing things forward, and there's a healthy tension, mm -hmm. I think. Um, in other cases, the agency is very much leading the client, and you know what we're looking for typically is brave clients. Right clients that you know are comfortable mm -hmm. talking about some of the newer things that are happening in the digital space, in the data space, in the measurement space, mm -hmm. um, and they know they have to get there, yeah. what we then do is say, well, how do we get there in a responsible way? Right. Do we test and learn our way there versus yeah. shifting the entire service model that we have? So in the, on the internet or with the digital display, we've seen agencies take a very strong role in promoting programmatic channels mm -hmm. with more transparency, that uh, invariably the concept is is more efficient for the for the marketer in mm -hmm. terms of the spend actually getting its way uh, through the system. Do you see agencies playing a similar role when it comes to automation of TV? Absolutely, absolutely. So, 
I think you know when we talk about television, we talk about it in terms of video, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we also think about something called the, the TV stack. Um, and, and there's an interconnected relationship with yep. television. So there's a linear component to it. There's a digital video component to it. And both of those should be moving more towards an audience-based targeting, which is what we've been talking to clients about. But when you, when you put something into the mass audience, you know, like video, you drive demand for the brand and you need to capture that demand that might be driven via search. Yep. So when you plan a, a dollar in television, you need to think about the dollar that you're going to spend in search. And more and more, we're now seeing on top of that stack, if you go video plus, plus search, mm -hmm. is social now as well. Okay. So when you put brand content into the marketplace, people will search for it and people will talk about it. Right. So how do we think about you know, that ecosystem of engagement? So speaking of ecosystems, you have companies like Simo Media who are basically calling into question the efficiency of, all, let's say, all of the TV spend, mm -hmm. and perhaps their value proposition is to optimize that, that last bit that maybe is not as efficient on the proxies uh, for, in terms of total spend. Is, 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 that, is that kind of solution something you see is going to be adopted by your clients and are you pushing that adoption? We're already doing that. So, you know, we've been actually linking some proprietary data that we have to Nielsen. So the last couple of years, we've been actually looking at marketing targets yep. and their rating points, even though we've been buying and guaranteeing impressions on demographic ratings. Right. I would love to get rid of demographic ratings and look at the marketing audiences that our clients care about most.